Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I'm in the Blue Mountains and around the Milk Creek watershed area. And we've been going back and forth on the Oregon, Washington sides of the border, visiting Bigfoot sighting locations. The Paul Freeman location, the place that we're after where he filmed Bigfoot, we're looking for that location, have a pretty good idea where it's at. And so we picked a course to where we could visit other Bigfoot sighting locations in the area. Blue Mountains is a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. This is the spot that the guys that were hanging out with them said it happened. They said it happened near the Shoe Flight Creek area, which is on the Oregon side of the border. It's also close to one of the several locations that Freeman said it happened. The closest place that he said it happened was uh, Deduct Spring, which about five miles, six miles from here but I think this is actually where it happened is in this area. So we're gonna walk around, look a little for Bigfoot evidence. I don't know, get lucky, lightning strike twice and get the Freeman footage again. I highly doubt that. I doubt Bigfoot sits on his hands in a place where someone catches him on videos or spots him, but there's a lot of sightings up here in the Blue Mountains. It's a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. So we're gonna walk around, scan around, and I'll tell you a little bit about uh, Paul Freeman's Bigfoot sighting and Bigfoot video. He had uh, two sightings that I know of, one 10 years before it happened in the Mill Creek watershed area, and then uh, he kind of become obsessed with proving it until he could film it. So he kept coming back into the area and finally 10 years later he got lucky and got one on film really close to where I am right now. Well this is one of the ways that you can get to Shoe Fly Creek. I don't know exactly if it's the way that Paul Freeman and his group horsebacked in and out. You can certainly get here with horses or on foot. And we're on foot, we didn't bring any horses. <laughs> So we're going to take a look around. Yeah, I'm 99% sure this is how they brought their horses into the area. Jenny and I had to use the mile marker directions to find it because there's no longer a trailhead sign here. Maybe there's never has been, but you're getting a glimpse into where this Bigfoot may live that Paul Freeman filmed. And mind you, he's seen Bigfoot twice in the area. One time is hearsay, the other time he caught it on film. just came through here, right here. Whoa. That's big. And it looks like a bear. I know. There's bear pee right there. Oh man, look at that. That, I got a 12 inch footprint. That is about, that's about 10 inches, 11 inches long and that is bear. It's a bear's hind. Look at the big old claws on the front, you guys. There's his front paw, a little bit of it. Well, actually his front paw is about five inches, maybe six inches long. That's pretty fresh, Jenny. That's a fresh footprint. 
Yep, just happened. Uh huh. Well, let's head the opposite direction that uh, the bear's headed. Here's some more poo in these uh, trees. It's yeah. There's more poo right there. Yeah. That means that means it hangs out here quite a bit. I think it comes in here and tears into these logs. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Well, we come here looking for Bigfoot activity and we find bear looking at just ripping bark off of trees. He gets the grubs underneath the bark. These dead and dying trees. That's a big bear. Not definitive enough. Yeah, it looks like it could be a footprint, but it's yeah. not definitive. There's the toes right above my toe. I'm pointing at them with my toe. Then it comes back this way. Thing is, is we just identified, which there was no question in my mind that was a bear, but. So that could have been done by a bear. It's not definitive enough, even though that looks like a, a great toe impression there, toe there toes here but oops toes all along here there's something stepped on this log right here yep crunched into it something heavy mm -hmm. or purposely dug into it like that bear that has a big 10 inch rear footprint <laughs> Grizzlies are only supposed to be in the Cascades, but you know what? These blue, these blue mountains are close enough to the Cascades that uh, I wouldn't doubt there's some here. And there is uh, some very large black bears that live here in the Blue Mountains. Some of this moss looks the same color as people describe Bigfoot. Yeah. It looks gooey. Looks like sap. Oh. Looks like sap on some moss. Okay, that's what it is. Maybe. Uh. Want to smell it or taste it? Okay. I'll smell it. <laughs> I can't smell it. Oh yeah. That sap, it smells good. Looks like an elk. Who is it? An elk or a moose. Okay. Probably a moose pretty spread up at the front. Man. That looks big footy right there. That's deep too. That is definitely longer in my footprint but I think I'm gonna get a tape on that and see the, the length and the width I mean we're so close to the Paul Freeman uh, Bigfoot sighting location where he filmed it in Shoe Fly Creek looks like he stand stood right here for a little while um, these feet print are almost um, what almost 18 inches long I'm gonna call them 17 there's the length on it and then we already measured the other one I don't know if you guys can see them both but there's one there one there like he stood there for a second or like Jenny says maybe he was just before leap this mess you know he may have gotten his feet pretty close together to stop and look or to leap but they're a little over 17 inches long and this one At the widest, widest points, a little, less, a little bit less than eight inches wide. Across the toes, you're getting, getting about eight inches wide there. And then this one over here, this one it looks like it flipped a rock. This one, and remember, it's not 
necessarily the shape of their foot, but the damage they did to the ground. And this, it looks like this rock used to be sitting right here at the edge of the foot. And him hitting the edge here flipped the rock back. Much nicer than how he damaged the ground right here. I don't know. We're in a Bigfoot sighting hotspot area. These don't look like bear. They look more like uh, older Bigfoot. And he may be heading off that direction. It's all mossy through there. Right. Yeah, the, the soil isn't as nice for footprints as it is right here where we got a couple. But yeah. Yeah, well, there would have been... He would have stepped on the pine needles there anyway. Oh, duh. I know I hear people say that. Oh, there's pine needles in there. It can't be fresh. And it's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, I think he mushed the pine needles down that were already there. You know what I mean? Some of them, maybe. Yeah. All right. We're going to keep looking around the Paul Freeman Bigfoot sighting area. Many other Bigfoot sightings that have happened in this area. We're going to tell you a little bit about those too. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching. I hope you have enjoyed some of our Blue Mountain Bigfoot investigations. We bring you this Bigfoot sighting reports on location as close as we can get to them. We've seen a lot of wildlife. We just got to see a, a huge set of bear paws and tracks up here looking for Bigfoot. We're visiting about 10 Bigfoot sighting locations while we're in the Blue Mountains. Hope you enjoyed. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.